This is Baalbek uh, in the Lebanon. Each of these three blocks weighs 900 tons. And it's extraordinary the way they're built into a wall and raised 30 feet above the ground like this. What archaeologists say, and it still amuses me, they found they could move 900 ton blocks, but 1,000 tons was too much for them. So they couldn't move them. In my view, that's a very un-Roman thing to do. In the verdant Bacar Valley of Lebanon, the ancient Baalbek Temple complex stands as a monumental relic of the Roman Empire, showcasing some of the largest stone blocks ever used in construction. Nearby is the quarry, and the quarry contains a number of very large blocks that were never transported. These massive stones, weighing up to 1,650 tons, surpassing the collective weight of a fleet of blue whales, pose a long-standing enigma. How were they transported and expertly placed? This mystery continues to intrigue scholars and historians, placing Baalbek at the intersection of ancient engineering and modern-day curiosity challenging our perceptions of ancient human capabilities. That is one of the mistakes in looking for a quote-unquote advanced civilization in the past, is that we tend to be looking for ourselves. Originally a modest Phoenician town called Baalath, Baalbek was dedicated to the worship of Baal, a deity associated with the sun and storms crucial to agricultural rituals. The city's transformation began in earnest after being conquered by Alexander the Great in 334 BC integrating Greek cultural and architectural elements, a testament to Alexander's strategy of cultural fusion across his empire. This set the stage for later Roman expansions that capitalized on Baalbek's strategic and religious significance. Roman influence in Baalbek reached its zenith in the first century BC, when ambitious construction projects transformed the city into a grand ceremonial hub. The Temple of Jupiter, an architectural giant of the Roman Empire, originally featured 54 colossal granite columns, each standing 70 feet tall. Today, only six remain, but they still dominate the landscape and offer a glimpse into the past grandeur. Adjacent to this, the Temple of Bacchus stands as a marvel of Roman decorative art, richly adorned with carvings that depict mythological scenes and festive rituals. Myths are the memory bank of our species. Treating the myths as a way of passing on true information. Yes. The nearby Temple of Venus, with its distinctive circular design, deviates from traditional Roman architectural practices and illustrates the syncretic blending of Roman and local religious traditions. The construction of Baalbek, particularly the transportation and installation of its immense limestone blocks, invites comparisons to other architectural wonders like the Egyptian pyramids and Stonehenge, highlighting the Romans' advanced engineering skills. More than just an architectural feat, Baalbek served as a cultural nucleus, drawing pilgrims and viewers from across the empire for religious festivals and games, a fusion of Roman and indigenous traditions in a vibrant public spectacle. When compared to other iconic Roman structures like the Pantheon in Rome, Baalbek is distinguished by its sheer scale and the logistical challenges involved in erecting such monumental structures far from Rome. The Pantheon, with its vast dome and central oculus, showcases Rome's architectural ambition in an urban context, similar in spirit, but executed under different circumstances. Both sites exemplify the Roman Empire's architectural vision and its capacity to leverage resources and technology throughout its extensive dominions. The colossal stone blocks within the Temple of Jupiter at Baalbek stand as profound testaments to the exceptional engineering skills of their ancient architects. These megaliths continue to captivate scholars and spark debates about the construction techniques employed to maneuver such massive structures into place. Central to the Baalbek complex is the Trilithon, three immense stone blocks that form the base of the Temple of Jupiter. Each block extends about 64 feet long, 13 feet high and 14 feet wide, with each weighing roughly 800 tons. The blocks are meticulously fitted together without the use of mortar showcasing a remarkable precision that required sophisticated planning, abundant resources, and the innovative use of simple mechanical principles like levers and inclined planes, alongside considerable human and animal labor. Located approximately 900 meters from the main temple area, in a nearby quarry, rests the stone of the pregnant woman. This enormous stone, about 69 feet in length and weighing approximately 1,000 tons, remains where it was originally carved. 
named after a local legend that suggests touching the stone could aid in safe childbirth. This monolith underscores the cultural and mythological importance these stones hold in local traditions. In 2014, an excavation at the same quarry uncovered an even larger stone, measuring 64 feet in length and estimated to weigh about 1,650 tons, making it the largest stone ever carved by human hands known today. This find has significantly broadened our understanding of the technological prowess and capabilities of the ancient builders. When compared to other ancient structures, the scale of Baalbek stones is particularly striking. For instance, Stonehenge in England, famous for its prehistoric circle of standing stones, features the largest stone weighing around 30 tons, a fraction of the size of Baalbek stones. The logistics involved in transporting the Stonehenge stones over considerable distances also demonstrate remarkable ingenuity, but on a different scale. Furthermore, the Egyptian pyramids, notably the Great Pyramid of Giza, primarily utilize limestone blocks weighing between 2 to 15 tons, with the largest granite blocks in the king's chamber, weighing between 25 to 80 tons. But remember that the ancient Egyptians tell us, in many of their texts, that everything they knew was a legacy. The Baalbek stones significantly surpass these in size, highlighting the unique challenges and advanced skills needed for their transport and placement. Unlike the pyramids, which were primarily tombs, the temples at Baalbek had ceremonial and religious functions, showing different motivations for employing such massive stones in ancient construction. This comparison not only showcases the monumental scale of Baalbek's engineering feats, but also emphasizes the varied architectural and cultural roles these structures played in their respective societies. The Baalbek Temple Complex, renowned for its colossal stone blocks, exemplifies one of the ancient world's most remarkable engineering feats. The construction of this monumental site demanded more than sheer physical force. It required intricate planning, sophisticated organizational skills, and a profound grasp of engineering and physics principles. These combined factors not only challenge our contemporary understanding of ancient technology, but also highlight the remarkable ingenuity of our ancestors. The architectural magnificence of Baalbek was a deliberate reflection of the Roman Empire's vast ambition and its intent to manifest power and divine approval. The grand scale of the temples served dual purposes, both religious and political. Designed to reinforce Rome's authority in the region and to impress upon the sanctity of the site, this complex was strategically crafted to inspire awe and underscore the Roman presence. The movement of Baalbek's massive stones likely involved the use of large tree trunks as rollers, with the stones themselves mounted on sledges. These sledges served as platforms that distributed the weight of the stones, preventing the rollers from becoming embedded in the ground. Historical accounts suggest that paths may have been lubricated with olive oil to reduce friction, facilitating the movement of these enormous weights over significant distances. The method of positioning these gargantuan stones is still debated among historians. It is probable that wooden cranes, akin to those used in medieval building projects, were employed. These cranes would have utilized ropes, pulleys, and possibly tread wheels to enhance the force applied by human or animal labor. Another likely technique was the construction of large earth ramps that provided a gradual incline for dragging the stones into precise locations. Lever systems, which utilized long wooden beams, might have also been employed to lift and position the stones, requiring a sophisticated understanding of leverage mechanics, but less construction material than ramps. Comparatively, the construction techniques postulated for Baalbek bear resemblance to those speculated for the building of the Egyptian pyramids, especially the Great Pyramid of Giza. Similar to Baalbek, the pyramid construction likely involved sledges and potentially rollers, with ancient Egyptian art depicting the use of water as a lubricant. For elevation, the Egyptians are believed to have used a mix of ramps and lever systems, built over a millennium prior to Baalbek. The pyramids exemplify a continuity in advanced engineering techniques across different cultures and eras, highlighting a shared architectural legacy in the ancient world. This shared heritage illustrates the deep-seated ingenuity in ancient construction practices, connecting diverse cultures through their iconic architectural feats.